Well, it's MLK Jr. Day, so that means that expectedly there are a lot of bad faith actors who are going to take his message and twist it to suit their own nefarious agendas. Case in point, the official GOP Twitter account tweeted this out. Today we honor the incredible life and legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. And they unironically shared this quote, the time is always right to do right. Interesting coming from them. We also have Georgia Governor Brian Kemp quoting MLK Jr. less than a year after signing into law one of the most draconian voter suppression bills in the country. But just you wait because it gets better. So fresh after killing voting rights single-handedly, Kirsten Sinema tweeted this out. Today we remember the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, okay, you remember his legacy. Well, let's remember what he said about the filibuster. I think the tragedy is that uh, we have a Congress uh, with a Senate that has a minority of misguided senators who will use the filibuster to keep the majority of people from even voting. They won't let the majority of senators vote. And certainly they wouldn't want the majority of people to vote because they know they do not represent the majority of the American people. In fact, they represent in their own states a very small minority. Hmm. That's a little awkward, isn't it? Seems like you only want to cherry pick the parts of his legacy and message that benefit you. These people are absolutely shameless, and all of these quotes that these politicians are sharing as they are literally attacking our democracy, it just goes to show you the plethora of ways they try to whitewash Dr. King's legacy. It's really disgusting. They are shameless. Now, um, the family of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., they had something to say about Kirsten Cinema. Over the weekend, they marched in Phoenix, and here's what they say about individuals like Kirsten Cinema. As Terry Tang of HuffPost reports, Martin Luther King Jr. III came to Arizona with harsh words for Democratic Senator Kirsten Cinema, whose refusal to change the Senate's Jim Crow era filibuster rules makes voting rights legislation unlikely to pass. King told a crowd campaigning to protect voting rights that Cinema cannot simultaneously express support for the legislation while also blocking their approval. History will remember Senator Cinema, I believe unkindly, for her position on the filibuster the civil rights leader's eldest son said as the nation prepares to mark the birthday of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. With his wife, Andrea Waters King, and their daughter, Yolanda Renee King, 13, the family joined a march in Phoenix with local activists and supporters from Pilgrim Rest Baptist Church, a predominantly black church, and spoke about the importance of no celebration without legislation. Quote, our daughter has less rights around voting than she had when she was born, King said in an interview. I can't imagine what my mother and father would say about that. I'm sure they are turning over and over in their graves about this. Arizona is one of 19 states that have passed more than 30 state voting laws in the last year, including a ban on giving water to voters in long lines and stricter ballot signature requirements that King called draconian. They make it harder for people to vote, especially people of color, he said. And he would be absolutely correct about that. And now Dr. King Jr.'s family is in D.C. marching for voting rights. But at this point, I just I don't know that anything is going to be accomplished because after Kirsten Cinema on, I believe, Thursday basically said no to setting a carve out for the filibuster so they can pass voting rights, uh, Joe Biden essentially threw his hands up in the air and said, well, I don't know if I can get this done. That's it. You're, that's it. I mean, you have a year left before the midterms and you're already unilaterally conceding. I mean, so, you know, as we remember Dr. MLK Jr.'s legacy, remember that these politicians who are sharing quotes of him, they don't mean it. They don't care about his legacy. They are lying. They're virtue signaling. They would be in direct opposition to Dr. King had they been around, had they been in power at the time he was alive. Because today, they're fighting against what Dr. King Jr. was fighting for. So, you know, these individuals like Kirsten Sinema and the GOP, they can try to pretend as if they care about his legacy, but just know they are full of shit. And Dr. King would absolutely be fighting them if he were still around.